I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Church of Living God. We are trying, by grace of the Lord, to do a Bible teaching on the study of seven seals. So, before that we can start, let us read, let us just make a short prayer. Precious Lord, I thank you very much for the opportunity that is given to us to come and speak to your children. Father, anoint us so that everything that's going to be spoken help the bride. You are the one that open the wisdom, the mind of the disciple to understand the scripture. Father, open my mind to understand and to repeat only what the prophet said and bless the listener. In mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, thank you very much. Our study is about uh, the revelation of seven seals. What the revelation of seven seals are, let us see on Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, I just want to read. It was the revelation of Jesus Christ that was given to him to show his servant what soon must take place. And he made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John. So the revelation of seven seals, as we have seen in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, it is the complete revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ that has been given to Malachi chapter 4 and the verse 5. Where the Bible says, I shall say, I will send the Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord. So we are now living on the day of the Lord. This is the day of the Lord, of the man. But the day of the Lord is coming soon. The day of the Lord. It is the third world war, Armageddon. It is the day of judgment to fulfill the Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 to verse 18. There we see Christ coming with on the white horse and his name was this, the word of God and the army of heaven were following him that is the third world world that is Armageddon that is the day of the Lord Currently, when we look at Revelation chapter 2 to Revelation chapter 3, we have seen there are, there are letters that sent to seven church ages. And the first church ages and the first letter was to the church at Ephesus. So we have seen that Revelation chapter 2, Revelation chapter 3, that is the seven church ages. And in those seven church ages, we have seen how Christ is working through, through those seven church ages. 
We start from Ephesus until Laodicea. And the Revelation chapter 4, there is a voice that told John to come up. It's where God prophet told us that the church of living God go in the rapture in the Revelation chapter 4 and we see the church of living God that is a bride coming with the bride with the, the bridegroom and the bride coming on the Revelation 19. So the mystery of seven church ages, the mystery of seven seals, it is a mystery for the redemption of the bride. It shows us how the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be shall be uh, shall be redeemed. In the other word, how the the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ shall reach the perfection, because the last church ages when Christ is completely out of the church because of dogma and creed and tradition. The bride, the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ, now receive the pure word. And this is what brings the bride to be exactly like when the Church of Living God was in the day of Pentecost. So God bless you. This is what we want to see. So I just want to introduce, but I would like to read Revelation chapter, chapter 6, verse 1. And I saw the lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of four living creatures say with a voice like a thunder, Come, and I look, therefore there was a white horse, and it, it ride a hold a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went as a conquer in order to conquer. May God bless the reading on the word. In, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So when we read in the seven church ages, in the page 378, a prophet explained to us that they remember well, Jesus was on earth, so was a Judas. Each came from a different spirit, and upon the death of each went to his own place. And the Spirit of Christ later came back into the true church. And the Spirit of Judas came back upon the false church. It is right there in the Revelation chapter two, chapter 6, verse 2 to, to verse 8. And I saw, behold, a white horse, and a he that sit on it has a bow. And a crown was given unto him, and he went to conquer. Mm. And when I saw, okay, that's in the, that is this scripture concern, the first seals. So the first seal, it cover the two church ages. That is Ephesus and the Smyrna. So in those two, two churches, there is a spirit that there is in the Revelation chapter, Revelation chapter 2, verse 6. In the Revelation chapter 2, verse 6, the Bible speaks about 
a certain spirit that how the show us how the spirit of Judas come back to the church. When that spirit of Judas come back to the church, it is started with the spirit of Nicolaitan. And the Bible tell us, let me just read a little bit, yet you have this, you had the praetors of Nicolaitan, which also I had. So in Revelation chapter 2, verse 6, it shows us how the spirit that was in Judas come back to the church has the spirit of Nicolaitan. And the God prophet explained to us when the spirit of Nicolaitan, when it come back to the church in Ephesus, what it what what it has done? When it come back to the church, it is started as a spirit to conquer the light. It is started. It is a spirit that has started for a man taking the leadership on the church of living God. But contrary to the bride on the Lord Jesus Christ, the bride on the Lord Jesus Christ at a group of the people